Hi, welcome to Nonshape Widget Tutorial, another one of my basic part design exercises, a simple rod. I've made a drawing, so let's take a look at the drawing. Here it is, and you could make a screenshot and then follow this exercise step by step if you want. So, let's have fun with Onshape. Ok, let's start with a sketch on the front plane. I need two rectangles, one, two. Make those rectangles symmetric to that axis here. This one as well. Then add some dimensions. So this should be 20. This might be 80. That distance should be 45. And this one here should be 17.5. And from here to that line, it should be 80. So what went wrong? Nothing. I just have to extend this and then go for trim, like that, add a point on that line and give it a dimension of 15. Finish that sketch. Let's make an extrude with that sketch, make it symmetric, make it maybe 80 millimeter. Confirm. Let's bring back that sketch because I need that point. Now I want to add two fillets, 50 millimeter on this edge and that edge. Okay. Now go for a new sketch on that surface and go for that point here. Confirm. Go for a hole. Through all, yes, simple, yes, 12 millimeter, yes. Select that point here. And in order to select the right point, maybe hide that sketch and then select this point again and it goes normal to the sketch plane. And confirm. Great. So why did I do this sketch? Because it gives me more options. So if I wanted to do a mirror, I could have done it with a different sketch. But I will go for a mirror anyway. So let's see, that should be a mirror. And because you can do a part mirror. Yeah. Okay, so let's go for a part mirror. I want to mirror that part. The mirror plane would be the right plane. And that should give me a new part. And then I can transform that part too. With the transform command, which should be right here. And I want to rotate by a line. Therefore, I need a line. So, let's add a line to the first or to the second to the first sketch and just add a construction line maybe like that here make it for construction only then go back and now we can rotate the second part by 90 degrees so let's go for the transform I want to rotate it. The axis would be that line, which should be right here, yeah. There you go. And the angle would be 90 degrees. And confirm. 
Now I can unite those two. So go for a Boolean operation, make a union between this one and that one. And I don't want to keep the tools and confirm. Now I need another sketch on the right plane. So go for that plane. And I will need a polygon, a hexagon. So just go here and maybe like that. Six is OK. Add a dimension. So this here should be 50. And of course, one of those lines should be maybe horizontal. And I want to add a point here. And that point would be right here. So go for a point, put it right there, just in case. Confirm. Now let's do another extrude. And it should be symmetric. Let's go for 140 millimeter with sketch number three. And I want to intersect it with the already existing body. And confirm. Nice. Hide this sketch and that sketch. I need another plane, which should have a distance to this one here of 20 millimeter. So go for a plane, select this one here, reverse the direction, let's go for 20 millimeter offset. Confirm. So did I put it on the right side? Just check our point. I think I put the point up there. Yeah. Okay. Now I need a counterboard hole. So in order to make it work, that plane should be at 30, not 20. So put it to 30 millimeter. Confirm. Let's hide that sketch. And I need a new sketch on that plane here. And I need a point for the hole just there. Confirm. And now that point is up here. Yes. Let's go for the hole. Should be a counterboard one. Yes, up to entity. That's OK. Up to this entity. And it should start from the sketch plane. 60 millimeter diameter, 30 millimeter for the counterbore, 30 millimeter depth of the counterbore. That's OK. Let's go maybe for a flat bottom and select that point here. Looks OK. And confirm. Let's hide all planes. And I will need just that front plane for the mirror. And I want to mirror the feature. So let's go for mirror. Go for feature mirror. Select the feature. That would be the feature. And the mirror plane would be, of course, this one. And confirm. And I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabGet, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.